James Kaufman, War News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, today is March 28, 2022, 1 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, bring that bell for critical future updates. Well, ladies and gentlemen, planet Earth has been hit by a M-plus flare with an associated CME on the way, along with a C++ flare that was long-term following the M flare. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this could cause a huge problem in the near-term future. Let's take a look at what we have. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is when I guess it starts. It's unbelievable. This is the flare itself pretty much puts all radios out of commission. This is 11.30 UTC time, and as you'll see, it starts feeding into the poles, and they light up and continue to stay lit up. Remember, that C flare was right behind that M flare. Unbelievable. There's that C flare hitting, well, Central America and South America mostly, some of the Gulf Coast. And uh, look at the radio absorption on the right, guys. All radios are out, okay? Uh, you can see the C-flare actually increased in intensity. Remember, it was a double bump. This has been a hellacious day for planet Earth. Look at the poles. They're still filled with radiation, okay? Those are x-rays, and we're getting completely bombarded. And this is not what we were hoping for at all. NASA has come out with some information about this. Wow, folks. Wow. Quote, a lot of things just happened all at once. Sunspot AR-2975 erupted today, March 28th at 1129, producing a major M4-class solar flare. The blast propelled a solar tsunami throughout the sun's atmosphere. You can see it ripple away from the blast site in this movie from the Solar Dynamic Observatory. The tsunami was radioactive. Its rippling leading edge beamed radio waves towards Earth. I received a fantastic solar radio burst at 56 megahertz, reports Rob Stammers, who recorded the outburst at his Space Weather Observatory in Lofton, Norway. At about the same time, the U.S. Air Force says they recorded both a Type 2 and Type 4 solar radio outburst. That's going to be your C flare and your M flare. Ironically, while the sun was turning itself into a temporary radio beacon, it simultaneously wiped out some radio transmissions on Earth. These pulses of X-rays from these flares ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere over Africa and other places, causing complete radio blackouts. Aviators, mariners, ham radio operators in these areas may have noticed fading or other unusual propagation effects at frequencies below 30 megahertz. Energetic protons accelerated by the flare and tsunami are now pepping Earth's magnetosphere, causing a minor S1-class radiation storm. Our planet's magnetic field is funneling some of those particles towards the poles, where a second type of radio blackout is now underway, a polar cap absorption event. Airplanes flying over these regions may find their shortwave radios will not work during the transit. Newly arriving chronographic images from Soho confirm that a full halo CME is heading for Earth. With that said, folks, I will keep you apprised of the coronal mass ejections arrival time as best as I can. God bless you guys. Please share. Please subscribe. Stay safe and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.